session. And um, as you know, uh, this session we will have three speakers and each talk will be 30 minutes. And after three, these three talks, we will have also a, a discussion time for 30 minutes. So you can keep to ask your question or uh, discuss your question in this uh, discussion time. And after that, we will have 15 minute breaks and the uh, second session will start. Okay, the first speaker is Sosuke from University of Tokyo. Hi, uh, Sosuke, you can yeah. uh, share okay. your screen. Okay, so, did you hear me? Uh, can I, uh, could you uh, see my screen? Uh, is it okay? Uh, could, could you see my pointer? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, so thank organizers uh, for inviting me and organizing a very exciting workshop. Uh, I'm Sosuke Ito from the University of Tokyo, Japan, and uh, today I would like to explain uh, new decomposition of the entropy production rate. Okay. So it starts. So this is a list of the collaborators, Andreas, Shinichi, Kohei, Artemi, and Muka. And uh, several papers in these topics uh, have been published. Okay, so at first, uh, first uh, I would like to introduce uh, conventional decomposition of the entropy production rate. This is well known as the Hatanosasa decomposition or adiabatic no adiabatic decomposition. So um, entropy production rate uh, is decomposed into the two non-negative parts, excess entropy production rate and the housekeeping entropy production rate. And uh, in a non increment steady state, uh, excess entropy production rate uh, uh, is zero and uh, housekeeping entropy production rate is uh, given by the uh, entropy production rate in a steady state. And this quantity is characterized by the cycle flow in a snake back network theory. So this is an example of the uh, Hatano Sasa decomposition for the four Kaplan equations. Uh, so uh, we consider the non equivalent steady states and excess entropy production rates and the housekeeping entropy production rate are defined by using the steady state probability distributions. So yeah, it's could be okay for the focal Planck equations uh, because uh, we can assume the existence of the unique and asymptotically stable uh, non-equivalent steady state. But uh, it could be a problem in uh, chemical thermodynamics. Uh, dynamics is given by the uh, nonlinear rate equation in chemical thermodynamics because uh, we have uh, multiple non-equivalent steady states and uh, these non-equivalent non steady states can be unstable. So in the chemical thermodynamics, such kind of the decomposition is only defined for a very special case uh, where the asymptotically stable non-equivalent steady state exists. Okay, so now uh, I would like to propose another decomposition of the entropy production rate, namely the geometric composition without considering a non equilibrium steady state. So in our decompositions, excess entropy production rate means uh, dispersion by the same type of evolution driven by a, by a potential and the uh, housekeeping entropy production rate uh, means uh, dispersion by a cycle flow, which do not affect the time evolution. So this idea uh, of the decomposition it's originated from the geometry in the optimal transport theory. So I would like to briefly explain the optimal transport theory. And this is a very old story in mathematics and uh, uh, optimal transport problem is the following. So we would like to transport a probability distribution from P to Q by using the map T. And the transport cost for each point depends on the um, uh, distance uh, between X and Y, for example. And what is the map T to minimize the, all co the cost? Um, if we consider this optimization problem, we can 
defines uh, distance in the probability space. Uh, that is a uh, Wasserstein distance. Uh, so this is a, a solution of the optimization problem. And uh, this quantity is very interesting in some dynamics uh, uh, because um, this quantity is strongly related to the free energy for the focal plank equation. Okay. So next, uh, I would like to explain the optimal transport uh, based on the dynamics continuity equations. So we consider the following continuity equations and uh, H Wasserstein distance is uh, given by this optimization problem uh, and uh, with a fixed uh, uh, initial and final distributions. And uh, this yeah, uh, optimization problem can be solved and the uh, solution is given by the, this uh, velocity field. Uh, velocity field is given by the gradient of the potential. And we can yeah, obtain this equation that is uh, related to the pressureless Euler equation in the fluid mechanics without volatility. So intuitively speaking, optimal transport is a kind of the transport without volatility. Okay, now we would like to consider the Benamo-Brenier formula for the focal plank equation. So if we consider the definition of the entropy production rate, then uh, we can obtain the lower bound on uh, entropy production. Uh, that is given by the Wasserstein distance. So nowadays, uh, this bound is known as a kind of the summary speed limit. Um, and uh, we uh, have revisited, revisited uh, this expression uh, from the viewpoint of the geometry. Uh, if we consider the infinitesimal time evolution, then we can obtain the lower bound on the entropy production rate. So, and uh, this equality holds when, uh, yeah, velocity fields is given by the gradient of the potential. And uh, we now, identify this Wasserstein part uh, with the excess entropy production rate and this difference uh, uh, with uh, uh, housekeeping entropy production rate. Okay, so this is a key figure in this talk. So uh, we now consider the uh, focal plank dynamics and uh, the dynamics is driven by the non-conservative force, so then it is not optimal. But now we consider the optimal transport uh, driven by the gradient of the potential, and uh, which gives a same time evolution. And uh, we consider the difference. And the difference is given by the uh, cycle flow, uh, because by by using two inequality, we can obtain this equality uh, equation. So then, um, yeah, we can consider the uh, dissipation uh, for uh, optimal transport and dissipation for the this vortices, cycle flows. Okay. And this decomposition is strongly related to the geometry. So if we introduce an inner product, uh, then uh, this decomposition is a kind of the Pythagorean theorem uh, for this right triangle. And uh, this equation holds because of this orthogonality. And uh, I would like to remark that uh, uh, mathematically the same decomposition has been proposed by Mass and Netotene based on the, uh, this equation. And this equation corresponds to this equation. And uh, this uh, orthogonality is originated from the uh, orthogonality of the two spaces, uh, kernel of the minus divergence and the image of the uh, gradient. Uh, so this quantity is in the uh, image of the gradient, and this quantity is in the uh, kernel of the minus divergence uh, because uh, we can obtain this equation, right? 
And by using this orthogonality, we also can uh, obtain the uh, orthogonal uh, decomposition for the carbac library divergence. That is uh, orthogonality in information geometry. So now we consider the past probability uh, distribution for the modified dynamics. The meaning of the modified dynamics is given by the uh, velocity field, but new prime. And uh, if we consider the carbac library divergence for two past probabilities, and then the, this orthogonality uh, provides this equation. This is a kind of the generalization of the uh, Pythagorean theorem in information geometry. And this equation gives the same decomposition of the entropy production rate. Okay, uh, this is the story for the focal Planck equation. Uh, next, I would like to consider the generalization for the rate equations in chemical thermodynamics. Uh, in chemical thermodynamics, we consider the following rate equation. This is a generalization of the continuity equations because uh, this uh, matrix S, stoichiometric matrix, is a kind of the um, differential operator, so which corresponds to the minus divergence, uh, minus divergence. And uh, I would like to remark that, uh, yeah, we this rate equation is a kind of the generalization of the uh, master equation because, uh, yeah, if we consider the um, instance matrix as a stoichiometric matrix, then mathematically we can obtain the master equation. Okay, anyway. So now we consider the entropy production rate in the chemical thermodynamics. Yeah, define this. And um, now we consider the orthogonality uh, of the two spaces, kernel of S and the uh, image of the S transpose. And uh, in this, S corresponds to the minus divergence and the uh, S transpose corresponds to the gradient. And now we consider two generalization of the uh, geometric decomposition for the rate equations. Uh, uh, first, uh, we consider the geometry of the inner product. And next, uh, I would like to consider the geometry of the carbac driver divergence. Okay, this is the first geometry. So now uh, we consider the inner product uh, given by the Onsaga matrix. And the entropy production rate is given by the square of the norm, norm uh, F. And uh, we consider the optimal transport for the uh, rate equations. Uh, uh, that means that um, um, this J star gives the uh, same time evolution and J star uh, is given by the uh, kind of the gradient of the potential, right? Uh, if we consider this optimal transport, uh, based on this orthogonality, we can obtain the geometric decomposition, right? Uh, because uh, this orthogonality corresponds to this orthogonality, so then we can obtain this uh, Pythagorean theorem. And we, yeah, define the excess entropy production rate and the housekeeping entropy production rate for the uh, rate equation. Uh, I think that uh, this definition of the um, entropy production rate, excess entropy production rate is good compared to the Hatano Sasa's excess entropy production rate. For example, if we consider the brass rate, uh, we only have a one unstable non-equilibrium steady state. So if we consider the Hatano Sasa excess entropy production rate, uh, this quantity can be negative. But uh, if we consider our geometric decomposition and uh, if we consider the excess entropy production in our way, then uh, this quantity it cannot be negative. And um, yeah, this excess entropy, uh, ex excess entropy production rate uh, reflects the behavior of the dynamics. Okay, finally, uh, I would like to uh, yeah, explain the 
another decomposition, information geometric decomposition. So yeah, if we consider the uh, chemical rate equation, we cannot define the past probability distributions, but now we consider the uh, unidirectional flow and uh, consider the generalized carbac driver divergence in this way. So then uh, we can uh, prove that entropy production rate is given by the generalized carbac driver divergence for one way flux, one way flow. And so then we can also consider the optimal transport problem for this carbac driver divergence. Uh, now this is a, we consider this rate equation and uh, we, yeah, we define the, we def define the uh, stoichiometric matrix for the one way, one way or uni unidirectional flow. And then uh, we now consider the, um, this flow J, which is given by the, uh, a kind of the gradient of the potential, right? So if we consider the, um, this orthogonalities, uh, orthogonality of the two spaces, kernel of the s tilde and the image of the s tilde transpose, then we can obtain the, this generalization of the uh, uh, Pythagorean theorem. So then, yeah, the entropy production rate is uh, decomposed into two non-negative parts, and this quantity uh, can be a uh, um, uh, housekeeping entropy production rate, and this quantity can be a uh, uh, excess entropy production rate. And I would like to remark that, um, yeah, the two uh, generalization of the uh, excess and the housekeeping entropy production rate are not equivalent, uh, but uh, numerically we can see that uh, there is uh, some inequality between them. And the information geometric excess entropy production rate is uh, always less than the um, uh, on Saga projective uh, excess entropy production, but uh, it's uh, just a numerical yeah, evidence. So we cannot prove it. Okay, so finally, uh, I would like to uh, uh, say the application of the geometric composition to the study of TURs. Yeah, we believe that uh, such kind of the decomposition it might be useful to study a uh, lower bound on the entropy production rate. So example, uh, for the focal plank equation, uh, this excess entropy production rate uh, gives a, a good um, uh, upper bound uh, on the speed of the observable. And uh, if we consider the uh, rate equations, we also can obtain the um, good upper tighter upper bound on the, this speed. And uh, we also can show that if we consider the information geometric uh, entropy production rates, uh, excess entropy production rate, which provides a TUR for highly irreversible process, that is a, uh, inequality. And this is a TUR for the highly irreversible process. Okay, that's all. So in our talk, in my talk, uh, I proposed, uh, we proposed a geometric decomposition of the entropy production rate. And uh, in our decomposition, uh, the excess entropy production rate means uh, dispersion by the same time evolution driven by a potential. And the housekeeping entropy production rate means uh, dispersion by a cycle flow, which is not a time evolution. And we generalize the geometric decomposition for a nonlinear uh, rate equation where the unique uh, and the stable non equivalent TDSS does not exist generally. And geometric decomposition may be useful at least to derive the TURs. Thank you. Thank you, Susuke, for this nice talk. And uh, yeah, there are perhaps also. So, uh, are there any questions? I think I saw some question in chat. Yeah. 
maybe we start from chat. There's a, uh, can, can you see the question in chat? Or yeah, I yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. But now I do not know the steepest uh, entropy ascent formalism. Uh, but uh, our decomposition uh, is based on the, sorry, um, my, I, I mm -hmm. sorry, I will show this right. Okay, could you, uh, sorry. Can, can I, could you see my, Yes, we see, yes, we see your okay. uh, presentation. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, my decomposition is based on the um, minimization of the entropy production rate. So then, yeah, we can obtain a kind of the variational formula. And uh, in this, um, uh, we obtain the, this triangle, right triangle, so then we can obtain a, a kind of a variational formula for excess and the housekeeping entropy production rates. So we can obtain the excess and the housekeeping entropy production rate by using the projection theorem in geometry. Um, so is it okay for you? So is it? Yeah. Hey, Rohit, yeah. do you want to add anything? To your question because i see your hand now uh, yeah uh, yeah thank you uh, thank you for that answer yeah that will do for the moment uh, i yeah. have another question though uh, it is that uh, in the excess entropy production rate you said that it can be sometimes negative uh, so uh, how do you explain that given that it is a ratio of a square and some inner product uh so you mean that uh negative means that uh, this result yeah. Yeah, yeah, the Hatanosasa excess yeah, yeah. Yeah. For example, uh, the Hatanosasa excess entropy production rate is given by the uh uh di carbon divergence between the non-equivalent steady state and the current uh probability distribution or current states. And and the, the excess entropy production rate is given by the um time derivative of this quantity. So then, for example, the distance between the yeah, non-equivalent steady states and uh, this current value can be changed and it can be positive and it can be negative. That is why, yeah, Katano-Sasa excess entropy production rate is not so useful in this system. But uh, in our form formulations, uh, we do not uh, consider the this non-equivalent steady states. So then, yeah, it could be po always be positive. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, and there's another question in the chat. John from John Sa Tamba. Are there any specific considerations or challenges when applying geometric decomposition to nonlinear or non-equilibrium systems? Uh, so, for example, this is a kind of the nonlinear problem. And uh, yeah, we also consider the another uh, applications, but now uh, yeah, I'm preparing. Um, but anyway, the, in my understanding, um, we can obtain the, a good decomposition of the entropy production rate uh, in terms of the geometry. And uh, this yeah, uh, strategy might be useful for the uh, uh, several systems. Uh, for example, the linear problem. Yeah. But anyway, this is a, a kind of the nonlinear problem. So. Okay, thank you. Uh, are there any qu other questions? Check. Ah, yes. There is one more, I think. Um, on, uh, is it you, Lou? On this page, how would other definitions of excess it behave? Um, on this page, how would uh, 
so what do you mean by other definitions? Uh, so for example, uh, you mean that uh, information geometric uh, excess entropy production, right? Or anyway, so yeah, if we consider the yeah excess information geometric excess entropy production rate uh, uh, for this Russell systems, the behavior is very similar. Uh, okay, I see. Like defined by Mona and Pani point. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, so now uh, I do not have any answer now, but uh, in my understanding, uh, it might be difficult to generalize uh, such kind of the excess entropy production rates uh, for the nonlinear uh, dynamics uh, um, because uh, we do not assume the uh, existence of the uh, unique and uh, uh, asymptotically stable yeah, non-equivalent theories. But uh, now I don't have any answers. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, I think we can uh, continue also questions in discussion time. So now um, we can go to next speaker. I think if 